Come on, Threads of Fate. I haven't played this game eons. I have some coffee or whatever. I don't know how long. Um, I don't remember which Square game. Which reminds me, I'm gonna make a My Life is King uh, video. But I don't remember which game, but there was a game I had from Square. If you're waiting, while I'm waiting to show you the intro. That uh, I remember had like an hour, an hour and a half long. Um, uh, intro, not like an intro like this, like a starting point. Now, what I like about this is uh, Square clearly uh, is using the uh, PlayStation itself to do all this rendering. Um, I got a theory why that they may have done this. Now, either the the game is so jam packed full of game that this was the best way to actually show off. Um, well, you know, have an intro. Or they maybe had been considering porting it over to computer or even N64, where, you know, that because this was, like, common, like, uh, Quest 64, the Zelda games, um, stuff like that. They all used, uh, they all used the actual uh, polygonal engine to render the graphics. And the graphics are pretty good. Could use um, could use just a little bit of a beefing up, but it ain't too bad for what it is. So that's the intro. It's a uh, it's probably typical anime. I'm playing in mute, so I don't remember what any of the music, the voices, or sound uh, is going to be. Pressing the start button. Continue. That may possibly continue. Yeah. Okay, choose my character. Ooh, so this means we can actually do the adventure again from a, from the male point of view. I think that you know who I'm going with. So her name is Mint. Now Japanese. Tale of a Spunky Girl. Shouldn't her hair be green then? Let's go ahead and see who the guy is. His name was Rue, or as, as you ignorant otaku would put it, Rue. But no, it's Rue. Tale of a Mysterious Boy. Why would it be Rue? Because he was probably what we would call Ryu in, in England. And no, it cannot. Ryu is Ryu. If someone says Re, Ryu, uh, Ryu would be spelled R-E-E-Y-U. Uh, because that's improper. Rai... U makes sense because he has the letter U at the end, and then R and Y makes the Rai sound because there's a, U is also a vowel, Rai. But then again, I don't expect that because nobody speaks English anymore. So let's go with Mint, Tale of a Spunky Girl. So I'm guessing correctly that the reason the um, the cinematics are rendered by the PlayStation instead of played in a video format is because this is probably just chock full or well not with chalk but it's probably just full to the brim I like that these remind me of coffee full of the brim of game and it's a one disc um, I like the um, slightly chibi style of the characters I, I do like that I don't know how essential the story is. See, I don't like reading story. I don't give a shit. Uh, Maddox. M-O... No, not M-O. M-A-D-D-O-X. Maddox. He has a thing about um, reading in games or whatever. Stories in games. Stories should be at a minimum here. And I should be given the option, obviously, if I don't want to see it, to get rid of it. However, in this case, like I said, if I don't want to see it, to get rid of it. I do want to see this one. Because I like, I really like the graphics in this game. Where did this game come from? I don't know. The cover was covered. The cover is warped, like coffee got spilled on it, and I had to clean the disc. So I don't know. And the disc is kind of beat up. Which, uh, all right. Let me take another sip of my coffee here, as I try to figure out what the Sam Hill I'm supposed to be doing. First, let's see if it has analog control. It does not. And 
Okay, the control seems simple enough. Let me run around the room for a test. And let's talk to Grandpa. So I press X, and uh, that does it. All right, let me go to this bowl of... Um, okay, she, she ate it. And is she gonna... If I do this, no? Um, okay, she ate the pizza. Oh, a pizza, yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. So does she come from a... If this is... What, what is the reasoning for her and why she'll be going on a quest? Okay, so she ate something else. Oh, those are pumpkins. Okay, she's threatening to... Okay, let me... You haven't tried that. Um... Okay. A swipe? <laughs> That's his majesty's seat. Oh, got a niche. That's why I haven't moved on. Hold on. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Um. Okay, so she's going to get boinked by somebody who's going to... Oh, right. Now, who do we have here? Princess Amidala and red hair? An Olsen twin? Um, <laughs> why is Dollmaster with you? Okay, so, their father is the king. And, um, the translation is written pretty well, so... And, uh, that is so typical Japanese right there. They always say number one. And which I think came about from interacting with Westerners. And, uh, no, I'm not gonna go break out into Korean bad words or foods anymore. Okay. Um, what does that mean? Let's see. Right. Just for no reason whatsoever, this plot has now been made. Uh-huh. A Japanimated. The High Council. That's not how kingdoms work, but whatever. They had to have a plot here. More of a Western plot than an Eastern plot. Ooh, Xeno Gears. Now, there's a game I've been looking for. There's Xeno Saga, and I have Xeno Blade. Wow. Oh, wow. I haven't thought about. Xeno Saga, eons. I'm not even paying attention to what's being said now. I'm thinking a different game altogether. Yeah, Xeno Saga. Somehow the Xeno guy ended up at Nintendo. That was just like just the oddest thing. All right, kill her now and don't worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, um, no, I'm just gonna let the story play out here. I'm not gonna talk about it. No, she's not kidding because we have to have a battle right now, right? Special effects are pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so... You big coward? Tom Coward, Lincoln Mercury. Uh, if you live in Vegas, you know what that is. Uh, right. Um... I just kind of want to get on with the game now. Although I do like the look, the animation style here. But, yeah, I just... I, I just kind of want to move on now. But th this is like... 
whoever programmed this, I mean, I can just tell from the font and everything. It's like, this is, whoever programmed this definitely knew, definitely had experience with the PlayStation, unlike any other I've ever seen. This, this is why the game is forgotten. It's like they knew everything there was to know about the machine's limitations. So while this could have been rendered and voice acted and all that stuff in a different way, they've chosen to have the PlayStation itself run it like N64 games did at the time. Most notably the uh, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. But even Turok, Turok 2, they, they even had voice acting in that, but no voice movement or whatever. So it's, I've always thought that was kind of neat. Alright, um, do I have a malfunction here, or is this like part of the dramatics that there's no graphics right now? Like, she ran into a closet or something. Okay, so that was part of the dramatics. And here we have a pretty nicely rendered ship for PlayStation graphics. And she's on the ship with an ass pack. It gets fanny pack. Oh, well, yeah, two years. Okay. Well, why don't she just, you know, if she's not having any monetary problems or anything. Well, okay, so she wants revenge. They're gonna rob her. <laughs> His brother. Blood. His name's Blood. All right. Like Vic and Blood from Rich Coburn? Or is that uh, Harlan Ellison? Damn rock! <laughs> um, I'm not even gonna go there. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. So, how do these two figure in the plot? Um, I do have a save, an older save, but it's not like I can put the memory card in the PS3 and use it. Just have another sip of my coffee then. Um, got a mild cursing there. Tears for fears, conquer the world. I don't know. Oh, I have to rule the world. What's going? On? Is this glitching? Or is this part of the story again? I guess it's part of the story, judging by the transition. I see. Um. <laughs> oh, I'm not touching that either. Oh, boy. Um. Is this even available anymore to buy? Because I would totally rebuy this game. Alright. There you go. Or there I go. Or there we go. <laughs> and, um. All I was able to do so far is control food. And I'm supposed to find Relic. And she. Uh, they're not robbing her? Alright. Uh, with this many polygons, it has that watery effect that PlayStation and um, DS games get. Don't know. Okay. Let's explore the dock first. There, there's Davis. Okay. Okay, so I just... If I do this, she jumps. Alright. So this is more... This is actually modern in a way, but it's not a modern game. This is quite an old game. Okay, so can I jump on the boat? Absolutely not. Let's go over here. Okay, we have, uh... Yeah, well, there's some things here. So am I allowed in these? These must be storage rooms or something. Okay, you notice they're doing the graphics. Whoever did the graphics is doing their best to, uh... 
keep it uh, proportionate. Alright, so I ran around the whole dock. I, I'm, I'm probably going to play to the first save point. Because I do want to make other videos. Okay. So, am I able to get up there? But it looks like I should be able to get up there. Hold on. Okay, push this. Try it with the X button. No, okay. Try it. That button. Triangle. L1, L2, no. Okay, so I know circles jump. But how do I, how would I pick something up? Okay. I guess I don't. And these have railroad tracks. So let's go up the ramp. I don't really know what to do. I, so, like I said, I want to work my way up to the first checkpoint. Then what I'm going to do is, um, I might keep a walkthrough out in case I get stumped, but I don't think I need to use it. Let me go this way, and I don't go that way. Got, got it. Can I go in here? No. Yes, yes, I guess I can go in here. I'm not saying I should go in here, but I've chosen to go in here. What is this, Captain Nemo's ship from, um, I believe, Extraordinary Gentleman? I think it's a chapel. Welcome to the Church of Corona. Doyle. Okay, Doyle. And, um, our names are, it's not, I guess it is not important why our names are meaningless before God. God should be capitalized. Yeah. All right. Yeah, sure, let's pray. Um, would I like to make a donation? I don't know. I don't, I don't have a thousand gil. Okay. What is this? What is with the camera here? Is some dramatic choice there. I guess it was. Um, that's it's a bit baffling. And, uh, so I can't go around the church. Is she able to jump? No. She's not able to do that. Well, you know, that's the dog. Talk to me, green hair guy. Okay, so we got two hoodlums running around here. What's your problem from My Life is King? You know, if released today, this would probably be called Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. Uh, yeah, okay, Markham. Markham Pokum. It's from Banjo Kazooie. Which I still think is available for purchase. Okay, let's see. Am I going to here? No? If you're wondering what I'm doing, this is. This is the way I played Square games growing up or Sierra games, or really any adventure in RPGs, is I would go, um, I would go and, uh, w well, try to find out everything I possibly could. Yeah, I can go down this alley, but I'm not done with that town, so let's go back to the town. What I'm looking to do is save, and these games save and save often. So usually in a Squaresoft game, this is where a save occurs. Alright. So I'm going to save right here, and that concludes today's um, playing of Squaresoft's Threads of Fate. So let me, uh, okay, let me uh, leave it here. That's uh, coffee for Binky at gmail.com. That's for Grumpy Bear Place. So that's C O F F E E, the number four, B I N K Y at gmail.com. You can also go to Patreon for that. And um, I'm really liking what I've played so far of this game. I actually don't remember it. But uh, there is a save that's ridiculously far on an actual PlayStation memory card. So. Alright then, that concludes today's playing of Threads of Fate.